I saw Tim Burton's Frankenweenie today. And ultimately the day turned out to be one of the great triumphs and in information gathering, uh, which is what I do, sort of. And uh, <coughs> uh, Burton apparently is, a, or he could be said to doing an example of McCarthyism, is what we call it back when it was uh, Republicans were spending all their time calling the Democrats communists. It's a, it's a heresy uh, frenzy, and it can be very dangerous because uh, the, the sentence can be death. Uh, now, uh, Burton's movie is, it could be said to be uh, an example of McCarthyism or a heresy uh, frenzy. And then I get over to the library, and New Yorker magazine has two stories in it. One about Obama and his uh, relationship with the rich people, and the other one about one of the rich people, a guy named Cooperman, I think, a 69-year-old guy <coughs> who made a couple billion dollars <coughs> in financial <coughs> uh, trickery. Now, what you discover here is <coughs> the, the Romney attitude of 47% uh, of the population are lazy mooches being supported by the rich people. <coughs> they, they truly believe that. And they are in a frenzy of alarm. They think uh, that there might be an uprising against them. And this is about time you started having the heresy charges, as to use an ancient name. <coughs> uh, so we can look forward to a campaign by the ultra-rich uh, supporting the things they truly believe they are deserving and other people are not. And uh, any time that's questioned, they become uh, very concerned about the character of uh, <laughs> the public. Uh, Traditionally, through history, if they could get away with it, the sentence has always been death for heresy. Burning the stake, crucifixion, anything good and painful, they like that. So, putting the two together, that's, I call it one of the most enlightening days I've had. Uh, I don't know whether I made it plain or not, but that's what I thought. <laughs>